first. I am crane hunting right now. Um, right here close to Littlefield, north of Littlefield. Uh, out here, I think it's by a fertilizer plant. I'm not really sure, but uh, we are gonna hunt some cranes. So let's go out there and shoot some birds. Me and my dad. Oh. I, didn't, I didn't know you, I did that. Yeah, you can't, you have to think about what you say around these, around yeah. Lee. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I can't find my little zipper. One, two, three, in the decoys. gonna be on that end. One, two, three, that end. That end. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's like I'm not oh. even... Hold my mouth wrong or something, I guess. I don't know. Good job, babe. Good job, babe. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma Why do you have big feather? It's her prize for getting it. Oh, she hates the feather. They're going to be high, but we're going to shoot at them when they get right over the top. So when you look, look straight up. There's a grater in there. See the grater? See the grater? In the middle. In the middle. They got him. You guys got the grater. That's awesome. You guys got the grader out of that flight. That'd be probably one of the biggest you've shot since you've been crane hunting, isn't it, Mike? I was going to say, that, that's a monster bird. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. Yep. Yeah, that's going to be. Oh, yeah. This is before. Sitting in the blind. This is like Hunting six up. months ago. I'm getting the crane mounted this year. All the things. <laughs> one, two, three. Right in the decoys. Get him. Yep. There we go. Oh. I got one. I saw my. I saw mine.
was an adult bird we couldn't let that one sit he wow. would have he would have popped as soon as we started talking and then he'd have the upper hand Come on, babe. That one's bleeding good. Come on, come on, get in here. Drop, drop, drop. Good, good girl. girl. I mean, if if I see other birds that are stacked up, where they, you know, they're keying on the birds that are in the decoys, I'm gonna let them keep coming. But if the birds in the decoys pop, we're gonna shoot the birds in the decoys. Okay. And, it, and I'll be saying, look in the decoys, you know, or look up top, you know, whatever. There's just, there's a whole bunch of birds coming. I wish I could see. Probably won't get a damn bird out of it. Everything's going to stay out front. That's just perfect. Can. I just didn't want to interfere with what y'all had going on. That's okay. I was like, if uh, somebody will get in How many we got in there? Uh, one, two, three. That should be three four. already, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we need a new bag. Okay. Come on, watch it. I don't want to hit you in the head. <laughs> So basically what's happening is we're having to keep the, the breast with uh, a wing because you have to keep it for identification. We're also keeping the hearts because they're really good to eat. So right now we're just cleaning up the birds and getting everything figured out and putting them in the freezer on ice or however we're deciding we're going to do it. I'm not sure to yet, but that's kind of what's happening right now. We are currently in the Baymont parking lot, but hey, as long as it gets the job done, right? What's up guys? Um, so. We are at Ginner Mountain right now. We just got finished hunting. We got finished um, debreasting those birds and taking the hearts out and putting them on ice. We're gonna send them, put them back in my freezer later tonight. But uh, Mike's um, Benelli was not working for him tonight. He was only loading one shell at a time, you know, and he has a plug, so he needs to load three. But he has three shots on those birds. So he just went in and bought himself a brand new Beretta shotgun. I think A400 something. I'll leave a link in the description. But I mean, a nice shotgun. He just walked in and bought a new shotgun because this other one didn't work that's when you know you're doing it big time you can just walk in and say hey i need a new shotgun boom get one brand new spank them maybe one day i'll get to that point i'm not there yet but it's just pretty awesome to have that have that financial freedom you know that's what hard work pays off you know mike he he works hard for his stuff you know everything that he's he has in his life he's earned he's worked for it so I don't know, just motivation, but that's a pretty cool thing. I just thought I'd include that in the video, so we'll see what happens next. I think we're going to go eat. We can't leave that stuff. All right, so you, you've been on two hunts now. Give me what you think about the whole experience. Oh, I think it's so much fun and liberating and and it's really nice to be with your people your and to get outside and be with nature and I love to shoot guns, so it's really fun. I like to hunt. Awesome, awesome. This is our second crane hunting trip so far, so she's pretty pumped. Yes, absolutely. So we actually ended up going to Stella's instead of Shogun because we went to Shogun and it was absolutely terrible, so we decided to go down the road and go to Stella's and it was really good. I had a couple beers and fettuccine alfredo with shrimp and stuff. It was pretty good. 
pretty good meal overall. So I have a final at 7.30 in the morning, so I have about six hours of sleep before that happens, but I'm not worried about it. I, I know the subject really well, so I'm gonna go and ace that, and then we have a hunt in the afternoon, and then a hunt Sunday morning, so that's pretty much what the schedule's looking like so far, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow.